I'm Lala. Welcome. It's Saturday. It doesn't even feel like Saturday. Say hi, baby. Hi, everybody. Okay, so I brought Raul here today to um, start off by saying that thank you so much for everyone loving our new series. Okay, so I know I always be doing a lot of series on this channel, but none of them like really stick. I just begin bored. So I don't know. I don't want to jinx it and say we're going to have a series. I just want to say for now. Um, hopefully, we'll be doing more of those videos where we go and uh, explore our city that I've lived in for 40 plus years. For, no, not 40 plus. Yes, well, well, I was a sperm in my daddy's sex. Yeah. So. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, really? Uh, so, hello, everyone. So, moral of the story is uh, we went back to the first taco stand. Um Lunas tacos. Yeah. We got three more um, tacos hambre, al alambre. Yeah. Alambres. And um, we we were talking about that series today. We're really super excited, and it's really fun to do because I never really have anything fun that he's like. He didn't care about makeup. He really could care less about cooking. Mm -hmm. He loves to eat. Y'all know I love to eat, and um, it's just fun doing something with my husband that we both enjoy doing. Yeah. <laughs> and it was, a, I do also want to say, it it was High Star, it was a prompt to, like, cause I had been, you know, ha enjoying my backyard. If y'all saw my Instagram, y'all saw that I was drinking a vodka spritzer. And I, uh, that's what that's what the burp was when I did burp. And uh, we went to go get something to eat. I was like, I'm hungry, let's go get something to eat. And then I was like, yo, why don't I, uh, why don't we uh, try a taco? Like we were gonna go down the line and do a taco each, but. That machete taco kicked our ass, kicked my ass. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how, uh, there's so much I want to say, but um, it was prompt too, and it was fun. Yeah. Was so I'm um, just appreciate time. that y'all enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so uh, um, if you haven't seen that video, go go watch that video. Yeah. Oh, and also in the editing, I messed up in the editing. I talk over myself. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is a Dollar Tree TJ Maxx. And um, farmers market hall. Let's get started. Thank you, babe. Okay. I don't know why I wanted you. <laughs> I just sit in there. Right. Okay, I here we go. Everybody. What, babe? I said bye, everybody. You said bye. Okay. Thank you, Tina. I'm so glad you 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 like it. All right. So, uh, Dollar Tree. I'm gonna start off with Dollar Tree. I, I'm I'm a new Dollar Treeer, meaning like I don't go there just to buy things because they're new. Like that's not my my channel is not about that. Uh, my channel is about about, about buying stuff I'm actually going to use because I'm tired of just buying crap because I want to be the first one to have new stuff about from Dollar Tree. I want to share with you stuff that I'm going to actually use. So here we go. First thing I found because I'm looking for backyard yard decor, and um, I thought these were cute for some reason. I guess. They're not, they don't have anything, they didn't have nothing. This Dollar Tree is, I don't know, there's new people in the Dollar Tree. They have it stacked, like, it's stocked, but it just doesn't have nothing, like, nothing interesting. Um, This scarf was from Dollar Tree. See, I'm using something that I bought, and I actually, I have a couple. Uh, and I just saw it there, I was like, oh, I'm not, I'm not. I was going to put it in my hair, but this is more cuter here. So I found these. This is a... Um, backyard decor it's a or garden decor staying alive and then it's like um a wall hanging isn't that cute of course it's going to be against the wall so it'll all be in the same but i thought that was so cute they had about a total of four different styles or types here's another one that i saw yeah, and I love the, the detail. It's so uh, rustic. So this one is, uh, I wish it had a saying here. It would have been cute, but this one, oh, it does have, it says, we were meant, play on words, like a, you know what that means. And then to be, we were meant to be. So yeah, I just bought two. I don't, this is a rental. I don't want to be making too many holes on my outside walls. <laughs> oh, the little sticky things, right? The, okay. Anyway. 
Uh, food. The only food item I did find were these. These are um, outrageous, quick, one-minute oats. I love oatmeal. I love just... I, my recipe for my oatmeal is oatmeal, peanut butter, honey or agave, smashed up banana, sometimes raisins, sometimes chocolate chips. Yeah, that's what I put in my... And sometimes I'll add... Um, oh, what's it called? I can't, I can't even think. The, it's like a... Um, You crush it up and it's supposed to be healthy for your metabolism. It makes it makes me poop. So that's why I, I forget the name of it. I can't think. I'm sorry. Maybe someone will know. But it's you can put it on top of cereal, oatmeal, fruit. It, it'll come to me. Oh. <laughs> and then I found these socks. I've been, I'm looking for no-show socks or no-show. Yeah, no-show socks. Uh, these, I like them because they say... Uh, they have non-slip gel at the on the back, which I like. Chia, not chia, is it chia? I think so. I don't know. It's does she chia? No, it's another word. It's another one. I, I'll, I'll go. I'll go find it in a minute. Um, but what is this about? And this is just so extra. Microfiber with aloe infused. I can't even roll my eyes that far back. <laughs> uh, but there's that. Okay. Hi, Sylvia. Then I found this. This is a eyelash curler. No, not granola. Though I do have granola. Yeah, I gotta go. Let me go find it. I'm a. It's like it's a fiber. Let me go. You gotta come with me. We're not gonna. We're not because we all will keep trying. And then I'm not. I'm not gonna let it go. I'm probably gonna get a grano on my mouth because I need to know where are you flaxseed there you go flaxseed Sarah yes baby girl flaxseed thank you <laughs> uh, I'm so extra I swear these lives just don't be right or right, I'm sorry if I make you throw up flaxseed yeah that makes me that's a good um, source of fiber you put a little bit on in a smoothie or on top of oatmeal or something. Whew, girl, you won't be constipated no more. Okay, this eyelash curler. Um, my store has a five dollar section, and uh, it was five dollars. Uh, my issue with my lashes is they're so straight, so I do need a curler. I do have one that someone sent me for free from Amazon. I just don't have the attachment to it because I lost it. Hi, Pinky. So, uh, it was $5. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll do a review. I don't know. And then Raul picked this up. He got this for his concrete hands. As y'all know, he has calloused hands because he's a man. And um, <laughs> uh, cordless. It's a cordless foot file. It was $5. We'll see if it works. Usually, the ones that have the batteries, they usually don't work. Okay. Have a great day, I know. Thank you. All right, moving on. Uh, shower frizz frizzies. I picked them up because I do love uh, shower aromatherapy. Because you know the you know they say they say when they say you know you're depressed when you get in the shower and you have it on hot hot water and you just sit there hugging yourself. <laughs> so I love to get in the shower, hug myself, cry. Listen to music and then have something smelling good. <laughs> so there's that. All right, moving on to, uh, I don't know. I just thought I would share it. Eyeglass cleanser. I, I use my hot breath on my glasses. This is me. And I. this is what I do. Raul need, likes to use chemicals. So if you're interested, they, Dollar Tree's carrying this big old bottle. You know what I like to do sometimes to be mean to Raul? Like, I know it would, like, really bug him. Is I put my oily hands on his glasses. <laughs> All right. Milani is at Dollar Tree. I found. And, the, and they also had, like, an array of colors. Like, they didn't just have one light color that was no for nobody. Um, hi, GK. Hi, Lizette. So... 
I got this one in medium. They had it in honey, medium light. They had they had an array, like a selection. But Milani concealer is at Dollar Tree. I didn't know until I see it. So yeah, we'll we'll try it out. Retouch and erase. Sounds good to me. I picked up some toothbrush, two brushes for when I do my hair. Hi. Hi, Maria. Oh, and they had these. So cute. Every time. Thank you, Lizette. Every time I go to Dollar Tree, y'all know I got to get something for my babies. And they don't know that they got something. Look at this. These are um for their doggy bowls. They're little mats. I don't know about y'all, but my dolls are messy. They're messy. So I got two for the the puppies. They have their whole little section over there, I swear. It's like a buffet. And then, uh, so I got two of those. And then I got this one for the kitty. Look! And even if it's not, if you don't use it for their food, this is like a cute little, like a cute little, like a little mat for their area. You know? This could be cute, like a stepping mat for the where the litter's at. So you know how they sometimes have litter on their um, paws, the kitties. This could be, you know, it could grab that that litter before it gets onto your floor. So I thought that was a cute. We're gonna use this for her little bowl. She's a little princess. I was like, we gotta get one for my princess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next is um, farmers market. Now this is. Uh, Hi, Vanna. Hi, Vanna. Um, this is our first time. Like, we always talk about going to farmer's market uh, when we're always working out in the country because he works in construction. And uh, he said there was a spot, a little farm, where they were selling eggs. And we, we always talked about him grabbing some, but we just, you know, never... Plus, you know, he doesn't carry cash on him. So we finally got to a farmer's market. And it's so funny because as soon as we walk in, because, you know, it's, it's a market. Like, it's like a, kind of like a mall. What I like to do is I like to walk around, see what's what, and then buy. Raul, he's a sucker. So, <laughs> not like in a bad way, but, like, if they anyone asks him, hey, you want to buy this? He'll, he'll be like, yeah, sure, because, he, you know, he wants to help people out. Let me show you what we got. We got some fresh farmed eggs. And I'm going to shout out the, the farms. This is Hackamore Ranch Free Range Eggs um, from Thorndale, Texas. Shout out to Thorndale, Texas. And uh, let's see. I've never had like a, a, a real egg. Raul says these are way different. So I'm excited about that. I'm so excited. Here, babe. And then... Yes, Clara. Hola. Have a nice Easter. We'll talk about that in a minute, what we're going to do. We got some pure raw local honey from Floyd Farms been from Bertram, Texas. It's a 16-ounce bottle. This was the highest price item at $12. And this is an item that I, when I realized that my husband kind of was a sucker because <laughs> I said, babe. That guy goes, oh, yeah, here, here. Take it. It's $12. You know, he's like this. And I'm like, Raul. I was like, no, we're going to go wrong. And Raul goes, no, let's just get it here. He didn't realize that there was other farmers that had honey. But, I mean, I'm, I'm interested because I believe raw honey is the best kind of honey to eat. It's supposed to be good for your skin and stuff. And then we picked this up for Raul's hands from another farmer. And it is from Exley Farms. In Gerald, Texas, and this is a sweet orange lotion stick. As y'all know, again, my hubby, he has calloused hands, and he has tried everything. Everything. And uh, we this has beeswax in it, so it's supposed to be waterproof. And it smells like oranges. So we just got a little bottle. They do have a bigger one, and he will be... Hi, Australia! He will be, um, if it's good, he'll pick up an, a bigger one. So there's that. And then we found some milk for like $1.50, half a gallon from Richardson Farms. Uh, low temp pasteurized. I don't know what that means. Uh, but it's from Rockdale, Texas. Shout out Rockdale, Texas. Look how yellow it is. I'm so excited for this. Here, babe, put that in the fridge. 
And then from the same farm, we picked up some hickory mesquite smoked peppered bacon. Uh, a pound, I believe, was $9. But yeah, it's real bacon from their real pigs. So there's that. I'm very excited. Again, from Rockdale, uh, Texas, Richardson's Farm. Shout out to them. So yeah, I'm very excited to try um, fresh ingredients. Okay, moving on to TJ Maxx. All right, TJ Maxx. Here we go. I picked up, um, we, I was being followed from TJ Maxx. I know I was being followed from TJ Maxx because this man who, who he was like, I don't know, he was following me. So I just didn't even go in the makeup section. I was like, I'm not even going to, I ain't going to waste time. I ain't going to be angry about it. I ain't going to let him ruin my um out my day of shopping so i just went straight towards the shoes and i picked found these shoes here they're reeboks for me uh they were 19 dollars, and i like them because they feel very lightweight uh, i don't know about you but i like being barefooted and uh they it feels like i'm barefooted while looking like i'm athletic <laughs> i'm only athletic from my ankle down when I'm wearing sneakers, that's it. <laughs> Baby, right. the milk. Okay. And then I found these shoes or these sandals for real. These were $14.99 and they're from O'Neill Footwear. I don't know that brand, but he, uh, I wanted to get him some flip flops. I'm trying to I'm trying to style 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 my man like I don't know what style he is but I'm gonna figure it out. We gonna get it together. All right, and then I found me these sandals because it's sandal season. Aren't they cute? They're kind of like a shoe with a lot of holes in them, but they they fit me. I have a wide foot, so yeah. And they zip on the side. They were comfortable. You get to show off your manicure. And, uh, yeah, show off your heel. Hopefully it's not dried up. <laughs> then I found these shorts for Rue. And these are Kenneth Cole. Slim fit tech shorts. I picked them up for $16.99. I don't know if you can see the fabric. Yeah, aren't they cute? Yeah, and then I picked it. And so I also picked him up like this. Ooh, y'all. I have a Nordstrom Racks haul coming through. I have a whole outfit. So these were the shorts that's going to go with the shirt that I got him two shirts from, from Nordstrom Racks and a pair of shoes from DSW that's coming. And I picked him up a pair. He gonna be so stylish, man. Y'all, y'all ain't even ready for the new room. <laughs> new room 2021. All right, I picked up. What's that? Oh, I picked this. Uh, oh, Raul did. These are for real. Y'all know my man. He loves him some headphones, and these are jam headphones, workout approved. And they were like 12 bucks. You know what he does? He's like just throws shit in the basket. And I'm just like, okay, whatever. And then look what I found. Y'all not going to believe this price. Because the quality is so, it's so good. So this is um, a shot, chime, shime. <laughs> okay, look. Look at the quality. So this is wood. It's not lightweight. It feels a little heavy. The chains feel super sturdy. But look at the beauty. Wind chimes. Yeah. Look. Okay. You know why I like it? Okay. Because it's outdoor decor that's a little funky, artistic, and cute, colorful. But it's not like 
them noisy ass chimes that be getting on your nerves. I have a pair of chimes, a pair of chimes. I have a, a wind chime that gets on my nerves and it's way in the back of the back, 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 back yard. This one is so cute and it's pretty long. But y'all hear it? It's not annoying noise. It's just perfect. So I'm so excited. This is the most, this right here is the thing that I'm most excited about. And I think that's it. That is the haul. Oh, this, by the way, was only $12.99. It's called, oh, it doesn't have, it just says Made in India. Yeah, I really love it. This is my style. Hi, Becca. Hey, Becca, what's up? I haven't seen you in a minute. Hi. Wind chime. Mm -hmm. With some flair, some color. Yeah, I really, really like it. Okay, so. For Easter, we had, um, here's the plan. Easter. We are doing some, a, a basic, right? It was, first it was basic. So I was going to do some, you know, our favorite shrimp, steak, corn, um, you know, rice, salsa. Okay. But then I was like, I got to make a video, a cooking video. Why don't we do something like what can we do to zhuzh up this easter meal that we're gonna have and uh this is gonna be a part of it a big part bacon is gonna be a big part of our easter meal now i don't even know are you supposed to eat pork on easter can you eat pork on easter yes it was good what can you eat pork yeah yeah oh, okay. i don't know because there's rules to easter because on Good Friday, you're not supposed to eat meat. We're going to eat it. And we ate meat. Oh, they eat. Okay. Well, I don't know. Because I feel like there's rules. Isn't there a rule? Like, you're not supposed to wear white after a certain day. Or you're not supposed to eat meat on a certain day. I don't know. There's rules in life that I just don't know about. Because I don't care. <laughs> I don't follow rules. Oh, I wanted to show you this, too. Uh, this is a Bath and Beauty makeup brush cleaner from Dollar Tree. So, <clears throat> here, just so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Hi, Unique. For Lent. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's, for Lent, you're supposed to do stuff. You're not supposed to eat meat on a good Friday. Aren't you supposed to get the, the cross, too? No, that's a Catholic thing, though. I don't know. So, uh, yeah, so Easter... I have a dessert. We have um, some recipes. I mean, it, they're not going to be like out of this world recipes, but they're going to just be just, you know, a little touch, little different touches. Ash Wednesday. The brush cleaner. Yeah, it's um, it was like in the way, way back on the bottom of the makeup shelf, girl. Oh, you have to give something up for lint. What do I give up? How long do you have to give it up for? Did it already pass? Am my past that? <laughs> if we passed it, I mean, I, I don't believe in going backwards. <laughs> I'm so shiny. Look how shiny my I am. For 40 days? Babe, I was supposed to get something up for 40 days. Huh? I'm supposed to get something up for 40 days for Lent? Yeah. Why you didn't tell me about it? I could give you up. <laughs> she said it's something that I really enjoy. Oh, I. A lot of people don't drink alcohol. Oh, well, that's, that's gone. Uh, that's the hell sipping. <laughs> Someone went on my Instagram. She was so cute. She goes, Is this a healthy drink? I was like, Um. A lot of people don't listen to music at all. Listen, no, they don't listen to music for 40 days? Yeah, real, real, real. Lots of people don't listen to music. Oh, hell no, honey. <laughs> don't think. Oh, so you could just really feel it? Something you enjoy. Okay, so, uh, well, if, if we was back in the past, what would I give up that I really enjoy? Hmm. Well, I really enjoy cooking. So that'd be 40 days without cooking. No, 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 you cannot do cooking. <laughs> no. <laughs> He said, no, no, you can't give up cookies because people need tea. <laughs> 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 
Someone said they gave up chocolate. Yeah. Wow. And someone, oh, Pinky said shopping. I couldn't do that because that's what I do on my free time. <laughs> makeup. I, I feel like I gave up makeup because I haven't been wearing makeup, as you can see. Uh, I really love clip-on earrings, but these ones kind of hurt. I'm trying to look for some real... Oh, oh! So, I want to do... I, why do I like talking with my hands? You did want sweets? Okay, what would I... I, I got to think about that. Maybe I'll give up my dogs. Can I give my dogs for 40 days? Um, can you give up people? I went to finally, I saw my niece. I have so much I want to tell y'all. And my thoughts are just, ch -ch 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 -ch. We, yesterday, I hadn't seen my niece in two and a half years. Yeah. Two and a half years. Within that time, she has had, she had two, two babies and adopted a baby. And so I was like, just like after we went to go on our little talk, our, ta our taco spree, um, I was like, let's let's go uh, check out my niece. And so uh, her babies are so cute. They're they got curly, 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 curly hair. She got a boy and two girls, and uh, it was nice. It's it's like so crazy because what before like when we did when we the last time we saw her, she was. Uh, mama's girl she was like she was always hanging with us and she didn't have no boyfriend she was just our little niece and then all of a sudden high of views of you all of a sudden she has three kids <laughs> it's just it was so weird uh but it was a great great uh meeting and uh, i hope thank you views of you i hope that uh there's more to come Okay, so there was that's what I wanted to tell y'all. Another thing I wanted to tell you was, oh, I want to go get my ears pierced, but I need, I think I need to go to a uh, 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 piercing shop, not like at a Walmart or a mall, where because I've broken guns before. Shut up. With that, that do that. You mean Asian? Um, I broke, I broken guns before. I uh. I didn't pay for the gun. I was like, that's y'all problem. And it actually got stuck. Yeah, Claire, yeah, I can't do that. So I actually gotta go to like a tat yeah, a tattoo shop or something like that. And because I look how thick my ear is. You see how thick the lobe? Hi BB. Oh yeah, it has been a while. So um that's what I want to do this 2021. That's one of my goals. Get my ears pierced. And, uh, because I've been seeing so many sales. And, I oh, I also believe that I can't wear cheap jewelry. I love cheap jewelry. I remember one time I got my ears pierced. And I went crazy at Family Dollar earrings. <laughs> the cashier goes, wow, you really love earrings. It was like $100 worth of earrings. And I put, I wore them and then my ear got infected. So <laughs> I had like a hundred dollars worth of family dollar earrings that I never touched. So, um, I know for a fact I can only wear gold like or real, real gold. I have like expensive taste on a broke bitch budget on the post and you should be fine oh really becca with the tips oh girl thank you oh i've done that too i i um i did my i pierced my nose oh nickel free see look these are all the tips that i'm <laughs> I don't know if Family Dollar had nickel free earrings, but they the I could do the clear nail polish. Hi, heavy on the chai. What's up? Thank you. I'm glad I'm I'm I'm, I'm hilarious. All right. Well, uh, is there anything else that we need to talk about? I hope that y'all come back and uh watch our new series. We're, I I want to try and do it every Sunday, and 
again, we were not prepared. So the close up, like how fat my face is in the in the video, I am I apologize. Next time I will be bringing equipment and uh it, it won't be that ugly. I am so sorry. Oh, so tomorrow we're doing uh steak and bacon kebabs, bacon sage wrapped shrimp, um bacon wrapped <laughs> Bacon wrapped corn. And what else are we doing? Oh, of course, rice, salsa, probably beans. But it's going to be a bacon adventure we're going to be having. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I love quiche. You know what? Lisa, you know what I have in the freezer? I have a, a what's the thing called? The shells. So I could, I've been wanting to make a Lorraine quiche, a ham and egg quiche. What foundation did you wear before it was fabulous? I don't know. Oh girl, I follow the trends. I don't I don't know. <laughs> That's like you can't be hit hit me hit me with the with these loaded questions because I I don't know. It's something that I'm gonna be like, I don't know. I don't I don't know. Uh, but you know what? Everyone loved the foundation I wore yesterday. Let me tell you what I used. It's right here on my table. I primed using the Sa-Sa-Sei Sa Sa primer. Then I put on... Yep, everyone, everyone gave me a lot of compliments on that. Then I put on this here. This is the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. It's in the color Deep. And then I put on the Airbrush Flawless Foundation by Charlotte Tilsbury. Wait, there's more. And then I put on the Charlotte Tilsbury Setting Powder under my eye. And then I finished it with the, the Dior powder all over my face. And then I contoured with the Charlotte Tilsbury. And uh, yeah, my face was expensive yesterday. Mm-hmm. That's why I look good, though. Okay. Well, um, the 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 most inexpensive thing I had on my face was uh, my earrings <laughs> for Family Dollar. No, uh, they were from actually from AliExpress. So I'm glad y'all appreciate that. Y'all appreciate that makeup look yesterday. All right. Well, it was great talking to y'all. I'm glad that I I got to chit chat with y'all. I hope y'all have a great Easter. Enjoy your family. Enjoy all the eggs. Ugh, boiled eggs. Enjoy all the eggs and all the the fun activities that come with Easter. Do y'all do the golden egg? Do y'all do that for the kids? I never found a golden egg. And you know why? Because I think that my family members really did like me, so they never gave me hints. You know how some kids get hints? I never got a hint. So, <laughs> you know what I should do to let that go? I should tell Raul to put a credit card outside with an egg, inside of an egg and let me find it. Maybe, oh, like write down a budget on a piece of paper. <gasps> that would be a good for adults. Like put in ones, fives, you know, a coupon for a drink or some, something. I don't want candy. I don't want, you know, tr I want money and, and gift cards. That would be a fun little for adults. <clears throat> no golden eggs, money in the eggs. Yeah, but we don't really have hiding spots. And then, and then my family members used to hide them in really crappy areas like piles of sh dog shit. You know, behind the washer that's in the backyard that no one ever goes near because there's a raccoon that's living in it. Um, on the roof. They can throw them on top of trees. So, yeah. So now, yeah. I'm all explaining why I don't have a family any longer. <laughs> Alright, everyone. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta clean up this mess. I gotta go prepare my Easter dinner. I love you guys. Go to a lottery ticket. Oh, I would love to a lottery ticket. I, I don't care if I lose or not. It's just the fun of scratching. All right. Y'all have a great Easter. I love you. Bye.
while I sit here and think about my shitty Easter's of the past and cry myself to sleep. Hola, adios, you're late girl. Okay.